In December of 2019, Liverpool beat RB Salzburg in the Champions League. Roof said just the likes of Takumi Minamino, Erling Haaland, loads of stars played in that game, but Jurgen Klopp interrupted one Dominic Sabozlio's interview to congratulate him on his performance. Klopp knew then how special of a player he is. Now, three and a half years later, Jurgen Klopp, along with Eddie Howe's Newcastle and several other clubs, are interested in paying £60 million for the Hungarian midfield maestro. But what makes him so good? That's the question I'm going to be answering in this video. I'm going to be going through every single one of his attributes, his strengths, his weaknesses, and why he's worth that amount of money. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and if you're old, welcome back. In March of 2017, Orbi Salzburg announced the signing of Sabozlia, who was just 16 at the time, they would pay €500,000. That summer, he would then go on loan to Austrian second division side FC Liefering, where in six months, he would score 10 goals and get seven assists before rejoining Orbi Salzburg, where he would finally make his debut nearly a year after signing for the club. The next season, he would stick around for Salzburg, got limited minutes, just under a 1,000, but he did get five goals and five assists. The 1920 season was the season where he really exploded, scoring 12 goals and 18 assists in 40 matches. He was a key player for Orbi Salzburg. He formed formidable partnerships with the likes of Erling Haaland, to quote Goal.com, Sabozlia, the Robin to Haaland, Batman. Sabozlia would stick around for another 6 months in the following season, getting 9 goals and 10 assists in 22 appearances without his Batman, Erling Haaland. On January 1st, 2021, it was official that he would move from Orbi Salzburg to Orbi Leipzig for a fee worth 25 million euros. This was a big money move considering he was only 20 and had only played one season of full minutes in a league that wouldn't be the highest level of quality. But everyone can see in his performances in the Champions League that guy had talent and like I said Jurgen Klopp was congratulating him and we all know how good of a record Klopp has for scouting out players. He could clearly see there was something about Shabazzi that was special. In his first full season with Orbi Leipzig it was relatively successful. He played a total of 45 times, 2,126 minutes, getting 10 goals and 9 assists along with winning the club's first major trophy. In the season that's just passed he played a total of 46 games, scoring 10 goals and getting 13 assists. People tend to misprofile what Shabazzlia is, they seem to look at him as an out and out attacking player and while his goal involvement numbers are good, they are impressive, I think he's more of a player like Federico Valverde for example. Someone that is going to get involved with goal involvements but I think their main attribute is progressing the ball and Shabazzlia does this brilliantly. In the Bundesliga this season he created a total of 14 big chances, created that to his 8 assists so he is creating chances that aren't even being capitalised on. Compare that to someone like Federico Valverde who isn't like for like but someone I think is quite similar, he only created 8 in the Liga. The average touches per 90 for a midfielder is around 50 while Sabozlia is, is 65.7 so he gets on the ball a lot more than others. He averages 1.7 successful dribbles per game. He averages 5.49 progressive passes per 90 which is in the top 13% compared to other midfielders and wingers across Europe's top 5 leagues. He's 6 foot 1 so he doesn't necessarily get pushed around but his weakness is definitely defensively. His defensive numbers are absolutely awful. You can definitely accept that for his attributes going forward and especially when you have someone like Conrad Lammer who Leipzig have had for the last 2 years who does all the running, who does all the work. It allows Shabazzlia to go forward and add so much to the attack. Towards the back end of the season, Marco Rosa played a really weird formation in Orbi Leipzig. 4-2-2-2, where Nkunku and Werner would play up front. Playing behind them was Danny Olmo and Shabazzlia, and then there was a pivot of Harida and Conrad Lammer. And I feel like that allowed Danny Olmo and Shabazzlia to do a lot of work because they had two very good defensive midfielders in a pivot holding, doing the defensive work. In my opinion, for Shabazzlia to be bringing his best attributes to the team, to be progressing the ball, adding to the attack, you're going to need midfielders around him that are willing to do the work. Not saying he won't do the work, but he's not going to do it as effective as other players. To put football in its simplest terms, goalkeeper, defence, midfield, attack, you have to try to progress the ball. Sabozlioi is just brilliant at progressing the ball from defence to attack. He is that middleman in midfield and that is his job. That's what he's so good at. That's what makes him so special. The price tag of £60 million is extreme. The release clause expires tomorrow, so you're probably going to have to negotiate for Leipzig and you'll probably end up paying more. But you just have to think about how good he will be. He's still only 22. He could be playing for another decade. He's definitely going to be a world-class level in 3, 4, 5 years. Years. It seems like there is a possibility he might leave Leipzig this summer. Newcastle have been heavily mentioned over the last month. Liverpool have been mentioned a lot in the last couple days. With rumours of both teams being willing to pay the release clause, it expires in two days. I doubt that goes through. There's a chance maybe if things happen fast, but I think you're going to have to negotiate with Leipzig. He said over a month ago in an interview right before the DFB Pokal final that he wants to play under a special manager, someone like Mourinho, Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp. That could potentially be a massive part if he does end up moving to Anfield this summer. But even if he doesn't and stays at Leipzig for another year I think it is a good decision because he can develop more become an even better player than he already is and trust me this guy is absolutely brilliant but of course let me know what you think in the comments what do you think of Shabazzlia is he potentially worth that 60 million pound transfer wherever he goes or will he stay at Orbi Leipzig this summer and develop another year let me know what you think in the comments if you do enjoy the video make sure to leave a like subscribe